Ask yourself, is SpaceX showing us a demonstrable reality or more plausibly? SpaceX showing us a demonstrable reality or more plausibly? A product exhibiting elements of manipulated bullshit. Ask yourself. At that point, uh, or at this point, with a successful landing of the first stage, uh, we'll be ending today's webcast. It was a very smooth countdown. Everything proceeded nominally. Uh, weather was uh, looking potentially a bit tricky with those clouds. Mission and start, and then that beautiful landing that you just saw. So we'd like to thank the Air Force for its mission and support. How is this long panning drone camera view not obscured inside these clouds? More camera angle and perspective nonsense, they would have us believe it's flying closely alongside at some 300 km an hour, and, is thus, filming from some magical distance, somewhere in between the clouds and the vehicle. Weather was, uh, looking potentially a bit tricky. Thirteen minutes eight seconds into launch, the vehicle leaves this ground-based camera view at a height of 400 meters. The camera is thus, at an angle looking up to the vehicle as it leaves this reference frame. The next camera view shows this enormous low-hanging cloud bank, at the same 400 meter mark. And it should be blatantly obvious that the previous camera angle, should have captured the underside of this overwhelming feature in the background. CRS Crash 6 2014. April 1 for the SpaceX fools. Please note those mighty nitrogen cold gas thrusters here, spurting away to no avail. Yet, in the frictionless void of space, they can instantly flip the vehicle around 180 degrees while it's traveling at 5,000 km per hour, converting up to 3,000 km of that velocity, into thin air, or its technical term. SpaceX for high density bullshit. To use the term, arguably, this has to be one of the worst pieces, of utterly contrived nonsense ever perpetrated by SpaceX. Pay attention as the vehicle descends, this is a poor attempt to recreate a foreground reflection toward the camera, wherever that might be. The vehicle's perspective appears to be slightly off, just too far forward. This looks like another NASA specky, peculiar highlight by Robert Sims. Note the spray behind the barge here. This actually suggests the vehicle just instantly projected further back into the scene, without any change to its vertical axis. The candle can be seen jiggling to and fro without much, if any effect in the top half of the screen. Then an overcompensation in the lower half and the familiar, so sad, simp, pathetic crescendo. Study the next few images, arguably, most, landing events staged by SpaceX all seem to exhibit, elements of very subtle, 
but purposefully distorted depth perception, or poor camera choice trickery, conducive to integrating contrived compositions. Ironically the anomalies always manifest a clear element of doubt about the true nature of SpaceX. What pisses me off more than anything else that they claim, it's this absurd notion that the moment this flame, here, which they essentially produce by burning a cheap kerosene, oil of all things, could never burn so hot as to turn seawater into steam instantly. For the chimps among you, be warned, refrain from the verbatim, parroting Narsas vomit about some magical hyperspace garlic oxidizing exotic fuel concoctions. Ask yourself, is SpaceX showing us a demonstrable reality? Yeah, well, we'll have to try and blow another one up in another video. <laughs> we all thought it was going to run away and explode. Ooh, we were all wrong. <laughs>